Hello. How is everyone doing? Good. Leafy is struggling. No, this is entertaining, Leafy. You can do your best. Mm -mm. Oh, there you go. Hi. <laughs> You're free. Lots of hellos. Holy shoot. It has been forever. I didn't have internet for like five flipping days. So I'm a lucky bastard that he got out of here. My internet's probably still bad too, so just, you know, if it gets to the point where I'm I'm lagging or something, just know it's not my fault. I'm trying I'm trying my best. And also this is a new mic, so I don't know. I don't know how it sounds. George discorded me his settings, so you know. Should be good. Mike's mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. good. Good. I'm glad. It's supposed to be directional, so if I go like around it. <laughs> ASMR. We were than my Yeti, to be fair. That one, I, I had I had a Yeti for so long. Everyone makes fun of me that I tell that. I had a Yeti for so long. <clears throat> it's so loud. You probably have me turned up because I'm usually quiet. But it's, uh, it's also like not... I don't know, I don't have it. This is this is me like right up against it, which I don't think you're supposed to get this close. And then this is me kind of sitting back. This is kind of more of like a natural position. I don't know. Is it good? Great. You're very crunchy. I feel like you're a bug in my ear canal. <laughs> I can mess with the settings. Right now it's just George's, so... If his stuff sucks, then it sucks. And that's his fault. So. <laughs> yeah, I can I'll mess with the settings, but for now, not bad. How have I been? I've been pretty good. Um, I mean, not as good recently just because everything's been, like, my internet's been out, but... Other than that, pretty good. Football. Yeah, football's awesome. Um my I wasn't able to watch too much, unfortunately, on Saturday, but I watched I got to watch the whole OU game, which was awesome. We did great. I wasn't able to watch much other than that because everything, the power went out and everything was out. <laughs> hey, you know, it's fine. Please turn down the mic gain. Why? I don't think there is. I don't even, I don't know what the, I don't know where the setting is. I think it's fine. And it's just George's. The only settings I've touched is the noise gate. Because George's is like non existent. Why do you have George's settings? I got George's mic. It's the same mic that uh, Nick has as well. But I had never gave in, but now I did. And now I have their, I have all their stuff. I have this, I have like the, what's it called? Um, the Goxler, the GoXLR. So I can do cool stream stuff. And I have the Stream Deck. So I can. Do other cool stuff. Um, yeah. 
Wait, does this work? George, show me how to set this up so you can hear my music. Does it work? Let's see. Okay. Cool. See, I can do cool. I can do. I can do cool stuff. It's quiet. No, yeah, well, I just have my music quiet. Did I cut out? Yeah, because I had my I had my music quiet. I think that how does it work? Routing. Oh, it's because Discord. That makes sense. I think if I just turn this down. <clears throat> I'm messing with my sensitivity right now. Hmm. Yeah, this is my mic sensitivity, that's it. If I just turned it off, then... Okay, I guess I could, because I have the noise gate. Like, now my noise gate's off. Oh, but now my mic is lighting up all the time. That's annoying. I don't want it to light up. All. I don't want it to light up all the time. I guess I just automatically determine. Does that work? Automatically determine. Okay. I, I think. Let me try. When I have it on automatic, I think it works. I don't know. Cool. Oh well. I think it. I think if I just if I ever want to play music, I can just turn it down. That's fine. Do you have auto tune? I have the, I mean, I have everything they have now. I even have like this. Wait, is it? Oh, I don't know if it, I think it cuts out because Discord as well. What's my Discord setting? Did that, did that work? I don't know what, I don't know auto tune. I don't even know how any of this works. Megaphone, let me see. Megaphone. Hello? Wait, is it working? I don't hear it. I don't know. I don't know what it sounds like. Does it do anything? Do I sound normal? No, it's not. Okay, how do I, how do I do this? Um, what's this? Hello, hello, hello. What's this? Hello? I don't think, okay. I don't know if this is, wait, do I need to turn these things up? I don't know how this works. Hello? 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 hello. Wait. Oh, I think it, does it play through? I think it, I think it plays through my stream thing and not um i don't know look i don't know how this system works at you know um i can turn my mic down fine look my mic's is that wait is that does that turn it down i think it does hello is it turned down that's so quiet all right i'll turn it out i'll turn it up look it's like i have like a little i have like an actual physical slider The mic's not loud. I'm leaving it. Like you can turn me down if you want. I think I think it's fine. Everyone says I'm quiet, and then everyone says I'm loud, and then everyone. I'm perfect. I know, but how's my mic? Good. All right, whatever. I'll leave it. I. We'll leave it. I'll look. I'll get it. It'll take. It'll take some time. Take some adjusting. But I'll. I'll get it right. <clears throat> yeah, I have a stream stream deck now and a Go XLR. Look, I I I have an actual setup. Before it was nothing. Now there's a lot of stuff. So. Um, I'm a real a real content creator. I am. All right. Cool. Did you get a new chair? I did. Look, I'm all set up now. Okay, I got. I have my my whole new setup, and so I everything is different. So I was just waiting, waiting to, um, waiting to do it. How's Patches? She is good, as far as I know. <laughs> you live with her, yeah, but I don't. I'm. I'm. I don't speak cat. 
I think she's fine. She seems good. Seems healthy, happy. But I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't eat cat. When do you think you'll stream next? I don't know. Whenever my internet is is uh, good again, so. <laughs> Are you using a Galaxy mousepad? No, I got rid of it. No longer. Like I said, everything's it's an entirely new setup. I don't have any anything that I had before. Everything's gone. All new. New setup, new me. Oh, well, I have my old headphones, but I'm there they are getting replaced soon. It's just the order got canceled and so I had to reorder it. So, what does a Go XLR do? I don't actually know, really. I think it just it just like controls your audio, and you, it controls all your audio levels and stuff, and you can, and and like your, I don't know, makes your mic sound good. So, you didn't get a new mouse though, right? I feel like you love your mouse too much to get a different model. I didn't get a new mouse. That's true. Well, I did get a new mouse, but it was the same mouse. I just got a new one. But it's the exact same mouse. And I actually bought a couple. So I have like extras. Because <clears throat> I needed more. Because I, I, back when I bought this mouse, I bought like three of them. And then I've gone through them all. And that, so I, I needed to buy a new one. So I bought, I bought another three. So now it's going to last me another two years. Let's go. I'll, I'll show you guys the setup like later. Like whenever. Um, I guess whenever George is here. Because then. Yeah, I mean, it's not right now. It's not. It's not done. So, but also, even if it was done, I probably wouldn't show right now. Why is your favorite football team Oklahoma? Um, because I have family from Oklahoma, and um, my uh, I grew up like watching them. So, um, the rest of my family wasn't really big into sports, and they just became my team. I've been to Oklahoma games and everything. <laughs> what's the what's your opinion on the University of Oregon Ducks? Um they're they're cool. Um funny story. I remember um oh like a while ago, um I was trying to get my little brother into football because I was like, "Come on, get into football. Like I want you to be into football." And um I I I told I was like trying to help him pick a team like to go for. And he picked Oregon because Oregon um they had a pink uniforms at the time because they did like they had a deal with Nike where they did unique, like unique um, uh, uniforms, and so he didn't understand football, but he picked Oregon, and so pretty cool. I like Oregon, and I think I think Oregon. Um, just they got blown out right <laughs> they kind of sucked this year but oh actually i guess it was by georgia so maybe it's not that bad they're probably not that bad but still do you see minx's tiktok oh no no i didn't <laughs> um fit check i'm wearing a florida gator t-shirt funnily enough that my mom got me and um gray sweats Pretty much. They're dark gray this time, though. So, mixing it up. It's cute that your mom still dress. My mom doesn't dress me. She's a Florida Gator fan. So she got me a Florida Gator t shirt. She, you know. I did my laundry. Thank you very much. Uh, George's video is still being edited. Is a year old now. Wow, that is unfortunate. It'll be released eventually, I'm sure. He can't. He can't just like. He can't just not release it. That would be silly. <clears throat> Will you do the mask on, mask off, takes out turn? Sure. Why not? Fuck it. Not right now, but 
I'm quiet. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. When you found streaming, I don't know. Like I said, when my when my internet's better for sure. Uh. Yeah, I mean, lots of uh, uh, music plans coming up, but I've said that since like last year. So. You know, always things happening. You ever film a TikTok with your face and then panic that you've accidentally posted it? No, I've never filmed a TikTok of my face, as far as I know or remember. That's too risky. I definitely do with Snapchat filters, though, yeah. <laughs> that I'm guilty of. How does your mic pick up absolutely nothing when you don't talk? Noise gate. <clears throat> Have you played much MCC Island? No, I haven't. I played a little tiny bit with um, some people on their stream the other day, but that's all. I haven't played off stream at all. I'm not in the MCC coming up, so... Um... Yeah, I didn't sign up, guys. I didn't. It, it, it's not that they didn't let me in. I didn't sign up. Neither did George. And I, yeah, I think sign ups fifty fifty. October for sure, though, right? Sure. I don't have any reason not to be in October if they let me. <clears throat> What's the reason for this month then? Uh, it's, uh, that we just, um, that could be, could be bad timing. Yeah, I talked about it already. I mean, it's fine. I don't mind talking again, but I did talk about it. <laughs> What's happening this month? Please talk about it more. Hmm. Um, well, you see, it's kind of funny because when we say soon, you guys are always like, oh, soon. But then when we don't say soon, it's actually usually more soon. It's kind of funny. Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, the hope is... Uh, for everything to kind of come together this month. So, I mean, the plan is that the Dream Team is going to TwitchCon together. So, um, I don't know if 100% it will happen, but that's the that's the plan. So, um, problem is, if George doesn't have his visa, he can't make content. Like, you can't, you can't make any money. Otherwise, it's, like, illegal. Um, so, that's the only, like, problem um but um yeah we'll, we'll see what happens george doesn't make videos in the uk either well yeah but um if if he was to come to america and he doesn't have a visa um that's no meetup shit for any of you guys because you can't <laughs> he legally can't like work essentially and obviously videos and streams and everything is is work um which is the biggest because like, he can come to it he could have for the last like i don't know since uh they opened up the borders after covid like he could technically come to america he just couldn't come to america and do anything um like at any point he could just go to america and be there for something he would be able to live there but he'd be able to um go to america and then um like go back after a couple months or something um but obviously that's not the case but he's going to have his visa this month. So, yeah. Lots of excitement. Why is George's visa taking so long? Tommy got his already. Tommy didn't get his. Wait, unless, unless he did. I'm 95% sure he didn't, though. 
that's why he went back. I'm pretty sure he came to the U.S. and then he went back, and then he's coming to the U.S. and he's gonna go back. <laughs> Guys, he didn't move to the U.S. He didn't move to the U.S. He's memeing. Maybe he moved temporarily. Obviously, he's not moving permanently to the U.S. But George is. Obviously, like move. It depends what you're saying for moving. Obviously, you could move somewhere and be and move there for six months or whatever, or three months or one month, and you technically moved. But like permanently moving is what I'm I'm talking about. See, George is moving here permanently. Um, Tommy's not, as far as I know, he's not moving to the U.S. permanently. But he's in the U.S. Maybe he did get his visa. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't talked to Tommy about it. I know when he's in America, obviously. He's in right now. <laughs> Why aren't Santa and you moving to the UK? I don't want to move to the UK. We have a whole we have a whole setup. The dream team house. Yeah. I'm in the dream team house right now. So I have a new setup. But um I'm not like moved, moved in, but I'm just trying to set everything up to get ready for George because um we just need to get everything like ready so it's not he comes here and there's nothing like there's no setups, there's no nothing set up and everything isn't like tested and made good. And that's why I've been dealing with all the crap the last couple of days. But yeah, I'm not moved in, but I am kind of partially. Seven <laughs> yeah. up dipped and was like, "Yo, I'm yeah, I'm I'm sorry, I'm I'm going to North Carolina. Um, yeah, you can move like all my stuff though." <laughs> it's like, yeah, okay, <laughs> the coincidental timing. Because he was like, "Yeah, I'm not I'm not coming back until." Um, George is here, so I'm probably just you know I'm just gonna come back to the dream team house, I guess. So he might as well just move my stuff. It's like I guess that's technically true. <laughs> yeah, the plan the plans for Nick to come back before before George gets here. It would be he'd keep be coming back like bang day. So. He said after. No, he just means like I think he said after he gets his visa. It just means like as soon as he knows George is, is coming right then, he'll be there. Um, he wants to be here when George gets here, so. He will. He won't move his own stuff. I move this stuff. <laughs> Are you nervous about the reaction and aftermath to your face reveal? Not really. I mean, I'm, I'm nervous for a reason. I'm nervous, but I'm not nervous. Uh, for the reaction and aftermath, I feel like I'm I'm just I'm nervous about me like functioning as a human being since I've been inside for so long. Like I'm not really nervous about that. I'm just nervous. Like oh my god, how am I going to be like interacting with people? Am I going to be like awkward? Um, because I haven't been interacting with people, but I feel like ah eh, probably not because people that I do interact with don't think that I'm awkward and um. I I wasn't really before, so I feel like I'm fine. But I am slightly nervous about that. But I'm not really nervous about the reaction because I feel like good or bad, it's like you know, you know promo, cool. Um, I think most most people are interested, but don't really care. Um, but care because they're interested, but don't care about like like don't care what I look like, but care what I look like. Does that make sense? I don't know. I think the majority the majority of people are just like, I just want to know what Dream looks like. Not because they they want to like, I don't know, know um, or care what I look like, but because they want to know what I look like. Um, so that's kind of how I feel about it. I'm sure there's a lot of people that do that do actually, even if they wouldn't say I do care. And um, I don't really care. <laughs> I think People um, will be surprised either way. Um, 
regardless, I think everyone has the, the the expectation in their mind of what I look like, and so I think almost nobody will be not surprised. I feel like no matter no matter what you think that I look like, like I just feel like every everyone's just gonna be surprised because they'll be like, "That's not what I was expecting." Like no matter what, because there might be a few people that have like a, a pretty good image of me in their mind that's like exactly how I look or something or like fairly similar. But I feel like generally most people just don't. <clears throat> or they have an idea in their mind based on like, you know, pieces together. But then obviously it's, it's never like you, your, your imagination never the same as like the real thing. So I like no matter what you'll be, um, I guess people will be surprised. I don't really think there'll be a like good or bad reaction. I think it'll just kind of be, holy shit, it's crazy. Like that's a dream. What the fuck? You know? <laughs> yeah i mean i'm fully ready for there's gonna be a lot of people that overblow my attractiveness there's gonna be a lot of people that undervalue my attractiveness there's gonna be, there's gonna be people that obviously there's gonna be people who that don't like me that are gonna be like taking it as an opportunity to like fully like trying to get under my skin or something and then people that are massive fans obviously that are going to be counteracting them with the same the same energy kind of in the opposite direction. And so it's just, no matter what it's going to be, there's going to be like, it's going to be like, everyone's going to be in the trenches come face reveal, like no matter, no matter, no matter what, because <laughs> it's just anytime I'm, anytime I, I'm involved in something that gets like attention, everyone's, um, I don't know. Every, everyone just fights because there's a lot of people who don't like me and there's a lot of people who like me. So it just ends up everyone clashes. And then the people that are in, in in the middle are usually just like, yeah, cool. <clears throat> Would you be okay with people making edits to your face? Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. If you're outside and we see you, would you feel comfortable if we came up to you? Yeah, I'd love it. Please do. Actually, I'd, pre I'd prefer, like, I, in my mind, it's like, if you see me, I'd much prefer you come up to me and say something than just, you know, you, like, you know that I'm dream and you see me, but you don't say anything and you're still around. I feel like even like, it's kind of like, ah, that's, that, that, that's a little like anxiety inducing, you know? Um, like I'd rather people come up and say hi. I'd be too scared because scared I don't want to disturb you. Like what if you're in a hurry? If I'm in a hurry, you can probably tell that I'm in a hurry. And the thing is, is I'll just be completely honest guys. If somebody, I, I feel like I'm a very, very like straightforward. I'm not really, I feel like I don't get that awkward in terms of, interacting with or telling people things um so like as an example if i was busy i feel like i would literally just be like hey i'm so sorry i gotta go like i i would feel bad but i would just you know i'd just be practical about it like look i'm i'm in a i'm in a rush you know if every time i you know i, I was in a, a rush i stopped and took a photo or did whatever then um i would have i would have no time i'm sure like i i feel like i would i would just be honest if i was in a rush so don't don't worry about coming up to me if i was in a rush then i'd You'd either, it'd either be obvious or I would just say I'm in a rush. <laughs> I don't think I'll, I don't, I don't know how much, how often I'll be like in a rush though. <laughs> like running around, speed running life. You just see me on the side of the street. I'm like ugh, sprinting and you're like, oh my God, it's dream. I'm like, I'm in a, I'm in a hurry. Always am. I'm sure a lot of international fans will have opportunities to meet me. I have a lot of plans to to do um, a lot of um, like traveling. So, like I said, I've said before, but I mean, I, I know over the next couple of years, I'll, I'll definitely travel to a lot of places. So, lots of opportunities. I'm sure there's plenty more travel that I'm not even thinking about related to just work. So. <clears throat> What platform will you post the face reveal slash meet a pick on? Probably like everywhere, basically. I imagine there'll probably be stuff on Instagram and TikTok and um, Twitter and YouTube and whatever. I just imagine it'll be pretty much everywhere. Do you have any predicted dates? Um, I mean, I can give you a, a. I just clicked on my calendar. If I heard my click, um, I, I mean the the general range. 
I feel like it's pretty obvious, but I'll just say, I feel like I'll lay it out, I guess, because it makes sense, but I guess it's easier to uh, digest. Um, obviously, essentially, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't, I don't like, I don't like, um, I, I, I don't like saying specifics because sometimes then it's like, okay, you know, whatever. Um, but I'd 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 reckon that um, it will happen sometime between the twenty second and the seventh. Um, that would be my prediction. Um, if I had to pick a time frame, um, it would be kind of the danger zone. I feel like any time before the twenty second, you're in the safe zone. It's not you're not in the danger zone. Nothing. It, the meetup's not happening yet. Um, there's still stuff to, uh, to be done and. Um, and it's not close enough to TwitchCon. Um, and then uh, once you get past the seventh, then obviously TwitchCon's already happened. So if it was going to happen at that point, it already happened. Um, so uh, realistically, it's going to be in that in that kind of time frame. Um, but uh, it could be, you know, could be off by a, a tad. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, like I said, it's not a hundred percent that I'm going to TwitchCon. Um, it's not a hundred percent that this is happening right now, but it's pretty, it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident, but Hey, I've been confident about stuff in the past and didn't, didn't happen. So, um, all we know is happening soon and it's exciting, but I'd say that that's the, that's the official danger zone. I'd say if you wanted a, a danger zone. You're so calm. I'd be freaking out because you're worried it won't happen. No, I, I feel like it, I'm not really. I'm actually not. I'm not that. I, this again. The reason I was before just like, oh, you know, I don't like talking myself like this. It's just because it, it feels kind of like. Well, then it's it's like disappointing if it doesn't. You know, like I don't really care, but it's disappointing. It'd be disappointing to people if it's like, oh, you have, and then you give a time frame. It doesn't happen in it. Um, but for me, I'm just I'm just laying out what's in my brain, um, and what my what my plans like look like. And so it's kind of like, oh, well, um, uh, like I don't, here's, here's what we're kind of basing our plans off of is these expectations. And so we don't know specifics, but, um, that's kind of general. I'm super excited, but I'm sure when it comes to like, you know, it's the countdown of like a few days or, or, you know, whatever, that's when it, that's when it really gets real. Cause otherwise it's kind of like, oh, it's, it's this perpetual, always oh, a, like I feel like the meetup has perpetually been a month away for us since January. Like we've just since January been like, all right, guys, at the end of this month, it's probably going to happen. So let's all, let's get ready. Let's do this and that. It's just constantly been that. But I feel like it's shifted. I feel like it's it's shifted to where it was because it was always the same. It was kind of like you know we're like, hey guys, end of this month it could happen. End of this month it could happen. Let's plan our stuff. Let's get this done. Let's you know do whatever. Um, and then and then uh, it would, it's always just you know based on the the house and and um, the visa and whatever else and so we it end up just always being a month so like after two weeks there'd be no more progress and we'd be like okay well it's still a month away um but um now i feel like it's it's like it's the two weeks you know where it's like that that perpetual two weeks it's been for the last like the last like two weeks or something it's been like oh shit it could happen right now it could happen in two weeks it could happen in two weeks um because of updates to stuff um so I feel like now we're kind of in a different we're in a different phase of, for the last like little bit than we have been since the beginning of the year. And so this is the first time where it's more like we feel we feel more we we feel the same way right now that that we did like in like, you know, late like early December um last year. Um so again, that didn't end up happening and 9 months later we didn't meet, but that's not happening this time. So um regard no matter what that's not happening, but um but there is a chance like the TwitchCon shit doesn't happen, it could fall through. But I'm pretty confident it won't. But it could. Obviously, it's frustrating. But it's worth it in the end. It'll be worth it, and everything will be perfect. And luckily, I will say that it did give it did give us a lot of time to, like, for the Dream Team house, like, there was a lot of stuff that we wanted to do that we were like, oh, fuck it, we'll just do it later, um, that we've been able to do <clears throat> in terms of, like, building shit and whatever um, for us because because we had more time. So it's kind of, there's there's a silver lining. And we were able to you know, plan out more stuff and whatever, and then it could line up pretty well with TwitchCon. So I don't know. 
it could end up being perfect. I mean, it could end up being like, oh yeah, I mean, it was, it sucks. It was six months, eight months later or whatever than we planned. But at the same time, it'll line up. We'll have, if, if we get in early October, you know, late September, then it'll be <clears throat> pretty epic. We have, you know, Dream Team Thanksgiving, Dream Team Halloween, Dream Team Christmas, all kind of like right after each other. We have TwitchCon like right then. Um, and then uh, like a lot of, a lot of, a lot of stuff. Like I, f- I feel like if it, if it ends up, working out it'll just be perf- like perfect timing um yeah george's birthday exactly <laughs> is preparing for florida the reason george is so inactive i don't think so i think i think i'm just inactive and so george is <laughs> i don't know though but i've been like off uh, side has been in north carolina and I've been like off the grid for like five days because I've been dealing with all the house shit. So like, I think George just hasn't had like, he hasn't been talking to us because we, we, he hasn't been able to. Like, Sam's been busy and I've been like, I've had no internet and shit. So um, I think he's just, that's why he's, um, I think that's why he's a tad inactive, but, but I don't know. He's planning though. I think he recorded another video. I think he's, I think he recorded another video the other day actually. Two or three days ago. Yeah, and he's been posting on TikTok. That's true. I think he told me he got his haircut or he's going to get his haircut. He's been grinding. Grinding out his (laughs) hygiene. (laughs) Where did your wheeze go? And you know, like disappeared. I know. See, I think this is the thing. I think there was at one point, I think I mentioned it before, but I went to the hospital for... Uh, like a, and and they realized I had like a partially collapsed lung or something, um, and then I'm not sure if that like fixed it. Like I don't know if that I don't know if like what I had done, like got rid of my wheeze. Like I I don't I don't know for sure. I just know that that I, I've thought about. It. I'm like yeah, I don't really like. It's kind of funny, but like also I I think that not going outside it has contributed as well, because like. I have, I, I don't have, like, I don't have asthma, but um, I get sort of like asthma like, like mild asthma like symptoms um, in, uh, like, because of the humidity in Florida. Um, and I don't go fucking go outside. So um, that as well. But either way, yeah, I'm pretty sure it, it could be. It just, I think, it, I think it was, there was something wrong with my, with my lung, I think. And then I think I, <laughs> For unrelated uh, purposes, I had it um, fixed. I mean, I'm fine. I've, I mean, I, I I am fine, and I was fine. I had um um like like ages ago. I had um uh, kidney stones, um, uh, which it was sucked. Like they were they were bad. Um, and it was around that same time. Um, I had like some. I don't even know what it was, but I, I went in and I went to the hospital and um, they like checked me out and that was one of the things that I had. And then I took medication and shit and I was good. Kidney stones, you poo them out. No, you pee them out. It's like, so it, I wasn't, I was hydrated enough. Like I wasn't drinking enough water. Um, and so essentially you like, if you don't drink enough water, then you can you can get like a kidney stone. And so I got a kidney stone and I had multiple and it sucked. It was horrible. Apparently the pain's like worse than childbirth, according to everything that you like read online. Like I was like, I, and you know how badly, like, I don't want to, I don't want to like risk like getting like recognized. Like I literally was crying on my floor, curled up in a ball, like not wanting to go to the hospital. Like, Oh my God, I don't, I do not want to go to the hospital. Like there's no way. Um, and I texted my mom and I was like, I need to go to the hospital. Like, just come pick me up, bring me to the hospital. Cause it was fucked. It was so bad. Um, like I, and the the thing is like, I was in bed and then I, I went to go, uh, I went to, I went to go, go to the bathroom. Um, and I like, I was like, I like was in so much pain. I like got down on the floor and was like trying to like crawl. And then like, I just stopped and I just like, I just laid there and, um, was crying and it, it was it sucked it was horrible it was the worst pain i have i on the way to the hospital 
I pulled out a notepad on my phone and I wrote down my passwords. And I was like, I was telling my mom, the password to my phone is this. Um, you know, th- there's a note. It has my pass. I thought I thought I was gonna die. Like I, I literally was like, holy shit! Like this is the worst pain in history I've ever felt. And like I obviously, um, I had a I've had appendicitis before and had uh, my like appendix removed, and that was that was like nothing compared to this. Like that was n- that was nothing. Um, this was like so bad. Um, I thought I was I thought I was dying, and I was like, I mean, that's like this this is it's. I, mean, I don't know how much I want to talk about it, but. Yeah, I, I like was like vomiting, but I, I wasn't, vo- I was vomiting because of the pain. Cause it doesn't like kidney stones don't make you vomit, but the pain made me vomit until I vomited everything. And then I was trying to drink water to like be hydrated and I, and I was dehydrated. And then I was, I was vomiting like nothing, um, until the point where I was like vomiting like blood essentially. Um, but not really. It was just like from, I was vomiting like a little bit because of the fact that I was vomiting nothing and it was like hurting my, like I was hurting myself. Um, but yeah. It was pretty bad. This this was like I don't even know how long ago. It was a while ago. I'm fine now, and I was I was I was fine then. Like I literally just went. They gave me, they gave me like some meds, and and they gave me like pain medication. Um, I, yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, so like during that uh, the bath, <laughs> the the when I did that bath podcast, I was I. <laughs> okay, like I've never done drugs remotely whatsoever. At all, but I was on pain meds, and so I was pretty high technically um, on that during that podcast during the the Discord the Twitter space I did when I was in the bath. I think that was the one I got the I I, I think I remember waking up the next. I was like, "What the fuck happened?" Like, um, and it was because I yeah I was on I was on like pain medication from uh, kidney stones at the time. Um, it was like that. It was like that night or something or the day before. I don't know, but um, yeah, that was it was pretty bad. Um. Yeah, it was pretty bad, but I, uh, yeah, I'm good now, and I've been good. I haven't had one ever since that. I was like, okay, I'm drinking, I'm drinking so much water. I'm like, I'm, I'm. If I if I die of anything, it's gonna be like overhydration. So like since that happens, I was like, I'm never having that happen ever again. Um, so I just instantly started drinking as much water as I could, and I haven't. I, I had like one after it, but it was like they told me it was probably like residual because like because it, they they take a while to form um and so i was like okay and so then i um yeah but since then i haven't had one it's been like i don't know it's been a while been a while um it was that recent no i mean the the time when i had the um uh the bath was um different so okay i I, like i technically misused the the pain medication because i took it not for a kidney stone but it was for the second thing that i had that i ended up when i went to the hospital i had the collapsed lung um that was it was that was around the same time um so the story just keeps getting worse i know it's 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 it was not a good time for me it was not a good time for me I thought I was dying. I thought I literally thought I was dying. I went and got like multiple like I thought I, I like I thought I was dying. I got I got I had I had to go to the hospital a couple times. I went I had to go to like multiple like specialists and shit because I was like, what's wrong with me? I don't know. Like it was the the kidney that was after the kidney stones because like the kidney stones happened. Um, and then there was something else that happened after that as well. But um, but yeah, I was after like it was like, after like all these like tests and everything. They're like, oh, are we like. Yeah, I, we think you're fine now. And I was like, I remember, I remember when I was talking to the doctor, I was like, you think that I'm fine now? Like, you know how scary that is to go home, like not knowing, like, and that you found nothing and that I've had all this happen. Like, obviously there's a reason for it and it's not nothing like, yeah, well, we did all these tests and like, you seem, uh, like it's, you seem healthy and you seem fine. And I was like, okay, I, I guess. Um, uh, and so I, I haven't had anything happen since then. So I guess they were right. But, um, I remember I had to get a, like a, a CT scan with like contrast and, uh, it, it got like messed up and the guy, like my, basically he, 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 uh, messed up with the IV and my blood was like coming out onto the floor. And then the, uh, <laughs> 
the the I, the like the fluid the contrast fluid got everywhere as well and he didn't really he like he like turned it on and then we walked back into the other room and then um and then like uh uh did a what's it called um he only realized because like he turned it on and was like oh i don't see any contrast like there's no contrast in him and then he, he like turned it off and came running out it was like oh my god and there was it wasn't much i mean there was uh, there was like a little bit of blood but it was mostly the the contrast like went everywhere um and he was like it was so the contrast is like sticky and stuff so it was like it was all over me and it was all over whatever like all over the floor and everything but yeah it's kind of funny but yeah there was a period in time where this was that was a I mean it was a long that's the only reason I'm talking about it was a long time ago so it's like a year ago or something um but yeah that was that was kind of scary it's just kind of funny though when I was like writing I was like writing my passwords down in the on the phone to my mom like that was it's kind of funny looking back on it it's funny it wasn't funny at all at the time but it was kind of funny looking back on it because it was like I I thought I was dying but yeah. Yeah, obviously I didn't talk about it. I didn't talk about it uh, like then because it's just like, eh. I mean, I, one, I didn't know what was happening, so I didn't want to scare anybody because I didn't know. If, like now I know I'm fine. Well, I mean, they say I'm fine. It has nothing's happened for a long time, so I'm pretty sure I'm fine. And they say I'm fine, so I should be fine. Um, but uh, but yeah, I didn't want to say anything back then because I was like, oh, I don't want people like worrying. I don't want people. I don't want people, you know, being worried about me and not knowing, you know, what what's going on or anything. So I was like, oh, I'll wait and see. And if I if I know, then I'll tell people. And if I don't know, then I'll just wait. And so I was just like, eh, not worth worrying you guys over, you know, my own, I'm here to be a beacon of happiness for you guys. I don't want to be at any source of stress or anything. Why are you laughing about it? Cause it's funny. I mean, it, in hindsight, it's kind of funny. And now that I know I'm, I'm healthy and everything and, um, it's just kind of like, okay, Hey, shit happens. Yeah, the only time when you go outside when you're dying. It was so funny. There was a period in time where I hadn't left the house except for to go to the hospital for like eight months or something. It was like in eight months, there was like only three times I'd left the house and they were all to go to the hospital. And it was like, or like, you know, doctor's appointments, whatever, which is kind of funny, but. Hmm. Well, it was kind of funny. I mean, at the time, it wasn't funny at all. It was horrible, and I, it, it was the worst experience of my life. But in hindsight, it's kind of funny because I go, hey, you know, just kind of hum the situations were kind of humorous, especially given the fact that, like, obviously, I'm me. It was just like, it just amplified it. <laughs> There's a funny, this is, this is also, this is like horrible, but at the same time, it's, it's funny how like fucked the US is. But <clears throat> ages ago, um, I had appendicitis and um I had to be I, I got like I had to go to the hospital obviously for it. Obviously, you have to have like surgery. Um and uh uh there was a hor there was a horrible shooting, which is not funny at all, obviously. Um but this is just shows how this is just shows how fucked America is. Just listen to this. So there was a shooting. There was a shooting. Um, and so people like gunshot victims are being brought into the hospital that I was in. Um, uh, and I was like waiting for surgery, but all the surgeons were being used on people that had been shot. Um, and so they had to ambulance me to a children's hospital um, because they had no rooms. To do anything because they thought that my appendix was going to explode if they waited any longer because i'd been waiting there for like so long um and so because of that they they had to they like they like ambulance ambulance me over to a children's hospital that was like a, like a long way away um and then like i was on some like tiny little like bed um that was like half my size or something um and um then had to yeah and then obviously they they operated and everything was fine, but that was, it was pretty crazy. Um, yeah. In hindsight, it's just kind of funny that that's how fucked, like, 
It's like that's how fucked things that, that, that things are. And this was like this wasn't this wasn't a like this this was not at all recent. So this was ages ago. This was like I don't I don't know. But yeah. Where was Sabnet with the kidneys and stuff? He was gone. I think he was in North Carolina. I think I'm pretty sure he was in North Carolina. Yeah, he was. He was definitely in North Carolina. He was definitely gone. I remember because I would have. I was like at that point. I was at the point. I would have had him drive me to the hospital. I would have just been like, "Fuck it," because I, I thought I was gonna die. He wasn't. He wasn't home. I had to have my mom drive over and drive me because I didn't have a car. And obviously, I guess I wouldn't be able to drive anyway because I just was so like whatever. He wasn't aware it happened until like after, but kind of funny. That was a pretty good story. I guess both those are are interesting, interesting stories. I guess someone's gonna animate that and put it on YouTube or something. And they're, they're both interesting. <laughs> huh. I don't have. It said more health issues than a grandpa. That's the only the only two the only times I've ever been to the hospital were a couple times during this last like this last like year, um, and then that the appendix like that that was a I haven't. Other than that, um, appendicitis isn't like uncommon. I'm pretty sure it's the most common surgery in um, America. Nick Nick's had his appendix removed as well. Um, my, my mom's had her appendix removed. I think I think like a lot of people that I know have had their appendix removed. It's, it's a it's a very very common surgery. Um, so that one's not. It was just it, the crazy thing was like the shooting and everything. Like that was crazy, but that was not related to me. <clears throat> um, but like outside of that, like yeah, I had kidney stones. From being dehydrated, um, and then the like collapsed lung thing. I don't. I don't. I, I. The thing is, they don't even know what it was. Like it was like I. I. I don't. Like I don't know. They don't know. I don't know. I had all these tests done. They said nothing. So it was like I had all these. Pro- I had. Just, I just had a bunch of random problems. Like I don't even. Some of them are just dumb. So I don't really want to go into them. But like I just had a bunch of. It was like right after the kid. It was. I thought it was kidney stones at first because I was just in like this pain. I was like, what the hell is this? Um, and I was, and then I like, I went to the doctors and everything and, you know, was, uh, was like looking into stuff and then they just didn't figure out what happened. And then I just said, Oh, you're good. Um, gave me meds and they were like, Oh, you're good. But they didn't, they never knew what it was. They just gave me like general, general meds. I think they gave me like general antibiotics and shit thinking that maybe I had like some, something like some bug or something. Um, but I imagine that the reason I have twice had to go to the hospital, like in the last, like, you know, two years or whatever. Is because I'm just like I, I I mean I think, but it's because I'm I'm living such a weird life. Like I'm inside all the time. I'm I, I I don't go out and do anything. Um, I guess I feel like it's it's more likely I feel like to happen. I guess I don't know. Maybe not. I'm probably I'm not getting I'm probably not getting enough like of the stuff I need. I guess I, I do. I I after that I like really upped like my vitamins and stuff, um, and everything. But I mean that was it. So, yeah. I had uh, appendicitis when I was a kid, and then um, uh, kidney stones, like, not, you know, like a, a bit ago. And then that's pretty much it. And then, the, and then the other unknown problem that they never found out what it was. But that's it. I just got told, yep, you're healthy. Everything looks good. All your, all your, your blood results, everything, everything's healthy. Everything seems good. You're in good health. Um, go home. I'm like, are you, are you, what was wrong? What what was causing this pain and everything? Oh, you know, we don't know, but you you seem good, so you're good to go. It's like, okay, <laughs> all right, so it's not gonna come back, but yeah, I'm like a vampire, like go out in the sunlight and I'm just I'm dead. <laughs> Have you ever broken a bone? I've broken my toe multiple times. My big toe. Twice. That's it. Well, because I rebroke it. It's like I broke it and then I rebroke it. Like, not that, not that long after. So, I was I was barefoot kicking a football inside the house, and I slammed my like toe into the ground, and it broke. And I was in a boot, and it was whenever uh, it was right before our all our Australia trip that I told you guys about before. And so I was on crutches for a lot of the um, Australia trip. Yeah.
you boot for a toe. Well, yeah, but they told me I was young, and so it was like I broke the growth plate, and they were like, if you don't wear a boot and are super careful with it, then your toe will be like deformed. Like it'll be small. Your big toe will be a small toe. And I was like, all right, I'll wear a boot. That's fine. I'll be on crutches from just a toe. That's fine. Crutches <clears throat> does make biscuits. She does. <clears throat> Do you celebrate Patch's birthday every year? Yeah. I mean, it's not her actual birthday, but it's her adoption day. And so it's the only birthday we know. Do celebrate it. Do you have do you plan on vlogging when George goes to Florida? No, George, George is gonna vlog. Um I do plan on doing like IRL videos, but it won't they won't be vlogs. We all kind of have our own individual like identities and plans for what we want to do. I think George is going to do more like traditional vlogs from what I know and, and some cool ideas that we've already talked about and came up with and shit. I think um, <clears throat> Sapnap's going to as make a lot of IRL content as well. Um, I think mine will be mine will be more unique um, than uh, like that. I don't, I don't know how to really describe it. There's not I, I don't I don't know. I'm sure I would, but then I, I think I, it said it like false expect expectations. But I have a lot of cool ideas. <clears throat> if you do go to TwitchCon San Diego, there's a cat cafe right near, and I think it'd be fun for you to go to. There's a cat cafe in Orlando. Can you share more about your IRL video plans? Um, I'll share... Uh, hmm. So, my my general plan... Um, I mean, the first two IRL videos that I'll be in is I plan on being on a video on my channel. Um, it's going to be a short, a short video, um, with some, essentially just me talking to the camera and introducing myself and saying, Hey, you know, I'm dream. Um, and then, uh, kind of saying, you know, we, we met up, whatever, but that, you know, George is going to post a video of us meeting. And so then George is going to post a vlog and I'll be in that as well. Um, so those will be the first two like IRL IRL videos that I'll that I'll be in, um, and then like obviously after that I do plan on doing a lot of stuff with the Dream Team. So I imagine I'll be in a lot of a lot of kind of Dream Team videos. Uh, George is probably going to vlog. Uh, he's going to do quite a bit of like vlogging. And I think he's gonna, he's also going to do some like a lot of unique unique style of kind of vlog videos that we've kind of brainstormed up. Um, so I imagine I'll be in like some of those, and then uh, like uh, Sapnap. <clears throat> Um, I'm sure I'll be in some of Sapnos videos. Um, and then obviously I, I do plan on, there's, there's more, there's more stuff. I just don't, I can't, there's, I can't really say more than that, I guess, but I'm sure I'll pop in Mr. Beast videos and stuff as well. Um, which would be really cool. I'm excited for that. Have you seen Severance? I think you'd like it. I did. I, I watched it. It was great. I watched it with George. It was a really, really good. But we were both like, we were both mad, like, oh, the new season is coming out for like a year and a half or something. We we're like, we wish we just didn't watch it and then watched it all later so you can have more. Because they kind of like, oh, it was such like a cliffhanger, I guess. We and George carry on these movie nights. I know, you still need to watch in Discord in your rooms. We'll be watching in person for sure. We will. It'll be way better. It's just, it hits different, like, watching something with someone in person versus, like, over Discord. It's so, so much better. You can, like, I don't know. It's a lot better. I'm super excited. The football's back. I'm super excited. It was awesome. It was awesome yesterday, and um, I was able to not watch too much of it, unfortunately. But I got to watch my team. That's what's important. But going forward... It'll be great. <clears throat> uh, what headphone did you end up ordering? I just got the same one that um George and Center have. I just got all the same stuff as them, except for my keyboard and mouse, because I'm picky. I guess I have a different keyboard, mouse, and monitor. I have the same, like, mic. Mic and headset set up. 
<clears throat> I did have a pillow pet when I was a kid. I have one in my closet. Which one? <clears throat> it was a sports sports one. <laughs> it was a Pittsburgh Steelers one from the NFL. Which I, I'm not really a fan of, but <clears throat> kind of. My dad was a fan, so I just cheered uh, with, but I don't really like the NFL, so I kind of fell out. I fell out long ago. <clears throat> I should go to the bathroom. Beer beat. I'm back. <clears throat> Hello. <clears throat> ah. All right. Oh. All right. Um, I think this this is the end. Um, good morning to everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, I still have a lot to do. Um. Being a busy bee. So, um, yeah. That was fun. <laughs> Enjoyed uh, talking to you guys. Love ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs>